Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome back to their mods mashup. Today we're looking at the Flygo Overloading Station. So here it is right here, the Flygo Overloading Station. That's what it looks like. Take a look around the other side. They did a pretty good job on the modeling of it, if I do say so. Let's go ahead and unfold it. Like so. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. We're just going to turn it on for the time being. As you can hear, it increases the RPMs of your tractor a little bit, which is kind of neat. So let's go ahead and turn it on and unload this guy into it. Now one thing I noticed is that you really need to back up into the back part of this trailer for you to get the tip trigger. So like, see, I'm like right in the back there. So let's go ahead and unload into it. So there it goes. Unloading the trailer into the overloading station like so. And there we go. Now we already have the we already have the overloading station on, so what I should be able to do is should be able to just to drive right around here, like so, and I should be able to get whatever's in there into my trailer. Theoretically, of course. Okay, one thing to note is that you need to make sure you have the pipe out just to make sure it works. I don't know why, but it, if you look carefully at the top right here, it says pipe in, and if you make sure it, it says pipe in in this case that means press the button to put the pipe in so right now it's in the out position essentially so the way this works now is if I come over to my trailer right here and drive underneath the conveyor belt there we go as you can see it has a nice little diffuse pattern right there as you can see and if we come around the other side you can see everything turning right there and it going right into the uh, right into the trailer right there so this is a very helpful tool if you're doing something like potatoes, for example, or sugar beets. It has quite a few amazing little functionalities. So if we go into, it's in the overloader or auger category, sorry. And as you can see, it takes wheat, barley, corn, canola, chaff, wood chips, which is, could be kind of nice as well, silage, straw, and I guess that's grass, and manure. So it takes all of those things. Uh, very helpful. So that's how it works right there. It's pretty neat so that you can have that set up to the side of your you can have it set up at the side of your field and then use that as an overloader so instead of having an overloader and this you can just use this to take one of these trailers like I'm using right here in this little tractor and just take it to that overloading station and just unload it straight into there and you can have a truck going from there and that kind of saves going all the way back to the farm every single time now I have not tried it with course play, so I'm not really sure how it works, but uh, it may work, but it may just be a little difficult considering how far back you need to get into this. So if I come up here and hop on the top of this, so you can see how close you need to be um, to that right there to get that trigger to actually go. And it looks like it's right about here. So see where the box is right here? You need to be right close to that for that to actually work. So. Keep that in mind if you're going to just try and use this thing. Let's turn this off. Turn the truck off. And there we go. So that's good. That's the Flygo Overloading Station. I think it's a really cool looking mod. Let's go ahead and can we unfold this real quick. Nope, apparently we can't unfold if we are not turned off. But there you go, that's how it works. You can turn it on, turn it off, all that jazz. Doesn't want to unfold or defold, fold back up now for some reason. Wonder why it doesn't want to unfold. Uh, okay, so you need to bring the pipe back in. So right now, for example, the pipe's out and I can't fold the station, but as soon as I bring the pipe back in, I can fold the station back up. So keep that in mind. It does work very well. It's nice and compact, as you can see, so you can store it away. And it works as a stationary overloader, essentially. So there you go. That's the Flygo Overloading Station. That's it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. This has been in our mods mashup, checking out the Flygo Overloading Station, or Overloading Station in this case. If you enjoyed yourself, watch. go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys later.